Hi YouTube! Welcome to another part of my AliExpress to Zig My Crazy Obsession <laughs> series. So, like I said in my other video, I don't know, one or two or three, I don't know how many <laughs> and what, um, like when the videos are gonna go up. I have no idea. I just film when I can. However, if you need any information on the products I show, you can email me and you might be successful if I have a good day because I do have fiber, as you know, or most of you know, and I don't have much energy, so if I get 30 emails, I might only be able to um, answer two and not more. But if you really need something, you should um, just come over to our Facebook group because there's a lot of people who always know where to get stuff, <laughs> which I love, and they will always support you. So think about it. However, let's start. I have more dyes. Of course I do. I have many more dyes. So <laughs> I want to show you those today. And one of these is this one dye with the houses and the boy and the girl. I assume it's boy and girl and you know some trees and this looks like a church to me and I did use it a part of it or two parts of it in my ABC pocket letter and I don't know if I get time and energy to put any links in the description but I will try so this one is five and a half long and one and three-fourth of an inch um, high so this is how it looks like I love it it cuts perfectly it does not cut the bottom part so basically whatever you cut it will be on top so if you cut here this will be on top and this will stay intact it does not cut it off if you just need this you will have to cut it off yourself or you can make a card which folds over and then you have like this you know um, on your card there are thousands of examples on Pinterest and all over the internet if you get stuck and you don't know what to do or if you need any inspiration just go on Pinterest or YouTube or internet and look for stuff and then there are millions of ideas <laughs> so more ideas than you got time <laughs> and I do have another teddy bear and he is sitting on an ornament right here so um I have one just the teddy bear I showed you in one of my videos and then I have one on the ornament I love him I did paper piece him for uh, my bestie Becky's advent calendar but I don't remember which video it was so yeah he is so cute he is two and a half by two and a half no two and a half by one and a half so he is very cute and I also do have some of the candles. I did paper piece for her advent calendar as well. And they did cut out the inner pieces here of the candles. Which is, it kind of does not really make sense <laughs> to me because I had to stick them back in. And the inner pieces of the leaves and I stuck them back in as well. For me it would be better if they would just emboss the inner part. You know so but it was not a big deal because the parts are big so I just stuck them back in and I was done so those are the three dies from here now see I definitely need more of those because I tried to fit as many as I can on one sheet <laughs> I have way too many I know it I know it now this was one of my favorites and I did use it in my ABC pocket letter. I did not take it apart because I didn't want to lose all the things, you know, and you can just cut it like this. It don't matter anyways. <laughs> so if I cut that, take them apart, you can. You can just break them off. This metal part is very thin, so you could just break it off, but then I will just lose stuff. I know myself. It's a little bit, um, it's a little gingerbread house. It's not that little, so the house is three by almost four inches. 
you know, and it's super pretty. You can paper piece it as much as you want. You can stick stickers on it and stickle it and, I don't know, do whatever you want to it. It's really, really cute. And it doesn't have just to be a gingerbread house. You can try and do something different. You can try and do something for Halloween or for, um, I don't know, even Easter, you know, like put some bunnies there or whatever. I don't think that it's just a gingerbread house. So it doesn't say anywhere that it's just a gingerbread house. So I would say you can use it like on many occasions. Okay, next one. I love this deer. And I also didn't break him apart. So his scarf is right here. And he is so cute. He turns out so, so cute. I have him in one of my Alice in Wonderland videos, I believe. So he is just crazy cute. He is three and one fourth of an inch by two and a half inches. And I apologize if you see some stuff twice now, because I really cannot, I cannot tell anymore which ones I showed you and which ones I didn't. So I will just show them all and now I put, <laughs> I put a little bit of painter tape in the back of the ones I showed you now and I write down that I showed it. So I'm not going to show it three times hopefully, <laughs> but you know, some people didn't see a lot of them and I really want people to know like what's out there, you know. Because I didn't know and I love to watch and see like what's out there and learn stuff. So this is my little deer. Oh, what's next? <laughs> oh, my little birdie. I love the birdie. I, I put it on one of the baggies in the advent calendar as well. He still has like an eyepiece left in there. You can use them, him or her, for any occasion as well. He or her <laughs> has a hat, but that's okay. You can either just cut this little piece off and have it as a head if you want to, you know. You can do something. You can give him, like, bunny ears and use him for Easter. I think that would be funny. <laughs> so he is two and one-fourth of an inch by two and one-fourth of an inch. How great is that? And then I do have this Merry Christmas and I do not remember I either wanted to or I actually did make a shaker out of it because this is so easy for a shaker. Everything that's shaped like this, it screams shaker to me. You can just cut out circles, you know, one piece of paper and then cut out the circles like this fill it with shaker stuff and you're done <laughs> i just love it i have so many shakers made on my channel so you will find at least one two three or ten <laughs> this is so cute it is what is it three by three because it's a circle <laughs> of course it's three by three okay However, let me stick this back in. And I do have snowflakes. I just recently shared when I made my French fry, a loaded French fry bag. I had four of them and I gave two away because they are all the same. And they look like this. And really, if I have four, I don't really need four. I can use two and have the same thing cut out and I can give two to somebody who can use them so it's like around two by two inches so those are the snowflakes I don't even remember if I ever cut them though you know so what's next here oh yes I did cut this one this one looks so pretty it's just snowflakes in a frame and you can make a shaker, of course, <laughs> because it's a frame. Everything that has a frame, a solid frame, it doesn't matter if it's like a rectangle, triangle, or a circle, you can always make a shaker out of it. So everything I see that has a frame, I try to make a shaker out of it. And it's really, really pretty. It is three by four inches. And I don't think I have a normal size card here. What is this size card? Yeah, this is five and a half by four. So 
See, it's perfect. This one, my bestie made this one for me, <laughs> just in case you were wondering. I keep it right here so I can see it. Love this one. Now, let me stick this back in. I am so bad. See, the flaps are in my way, so I put them in there. Why don't I just cut them off? I should just cut them off, but then I'm afraid that one day I will want the flaps and they will be gone. <laughs> this is how I work. My brain is just like that. Okay, so last of the dice. I want to show you. Let me take it out of the packaging here. It's such a cute, pretty, sweet doggy. <laughs> okay. He looks like that, and he is Christmassy, and he has a hat, and I'm pretty sure that I made a paper clip for my bestie with this one, and it turned out so cool. There is a video somewhere on my channel. <laughs> it turned out so, so cool. He is um, three, almost three and a half inches by two inches. Where's my card? So this is the pocket letter card, and he fits perfectly. Love him, love him. The paper clip was big and so cool. I loved it. <laughs> I hope she loved it too. Okay, so next I want to show you something um, that I did make stuff out of it, and I'm pretty sure I have a video. So, but I still wanted to show in this one just in case you didn't see it, and it's very quick. So I have this one die, and like I said, everything that has a frame is a shaker. So I used the smaller one and made an ornament shaker, which looks like this. This can be a tag, so, you know, it looks like an ornament, kind of. So I put some glitter on the outside and a string right here. I know that's glare, but it's really pretty. And I just used packaging plastic. So there is nothing, I also used packaging paper for that, you know. You don't need a lot of supplies to make something pretty. And those are the dies I used. The bigger one of those is three by three, and the smaller ones is two, the smaller one is two by two. So yes, like I said, this is pretty and I loved it. And this, is one of the cards I made and I made a bunch of cards with this one. This was one of my favorites as well or is one of my favorites. So the little deer with the snowflakes and the trees right here. And I used him and he has a frame as you can see. And of course what I did is to make a shaker. I filled it with Dollar Tree snow and I have this foiled black paper and it says peace and love just because I think it's very peaceful so I love this one I just love this one and it is five by three and a half so it's a pretty big die I love playing with this one like I said it was one of my favorites and I did not give away this card I might but I might not because this I believe was the first one I made so yeah what else can I show you oh I have another card and I might have showed you this one before as well and I made a couple things so this is the die it's a frame die and it is let me see there are so many possibilities with this one. It's four and a half by three and a quarter. So what I did was I made a shaker looking like this. May all your Christmas dreams come true right there. And I have the little deers here and a little Christmas tree stamps I colored myself. And I cut out tons and tons of paper frames and not... Um, foam I don't know it just looks better I, I'm not very good with foam like here I did use foam and I had to use glossy accent because the foam was like you know just slipping away and oh my god I had problems with the foam so I just cut normally I just cut paper and paper and paper a couple layers as many as I need to have my shaker shake and then I'm done for me, it's much better than foam. 
So like I said, this is the frame. It has stitching and it has the three cubes here and a longer one. You can make whatever you want to make. You can put a long flower in here and have small flowers here. Or I had like a dress here and then shoes and a hat and whatever in here. You can make so many cards and so many things with this. It's very versatile. So I would say if you don't have it, you should get it. <laughs> so really, it's really, really cool. So yeah. And let me see. Oh, let me just show you a an embossing folder. I know I'm doing dies, but it's right here in the same spot. So let me just show you this one and then I will finish the video. So this is just a normal embossing folder. I love it. It has different things on it. I love everything I got. Maybe, maybe not everything. There were things where I was thinking like, what is this? <laughs> I believe... What was it? I don't remember. I already did something at the very beginning and I was excited to get it and then I got a little piece like this. And I was like, what is this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but this is an embossing folder. You can get embossing folders everywhere. Tuesday morning has them sometimes for 99 cents or Joanne's has them a lot of times for two dollars. So I do not emboss too much, but just because I forget. I really forget. It's like, I'm still learning. I only been crafting for a year, so I still don't have this um, routine where I know, you know, oh, you should emboss, you should do this or that. I'm very chaotic in my crafting. So yeah. Okay, that's it for today. By the way, the ornament would fit pretty good too. That's it for today for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you have any questions, email me or join the Facebook group and it will be answered. So I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel because I have much more stuff to share with you. Oh my God, I'm thinking when I make all the videos with the stuff I have, then I will see what I have and that could be really bad, but it's, it's my obsession. It's my crazy obsession. It's still cheaper than drugs. <laughs> That's the only thing I keep telling myself. Okay, <laughs> you could be a junkie, but you're not. <laughs> I am kind of for craft supplies. Everything is glittery here. Okay, I'm I'm kind of here <laughs> getting sidetracked already. <laughs> okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed it, like I said. And um, subscribe, share, like. And just keep on crafting, keep on laughing, keep on be happy, and have a great, great day. I see you in my next video. Bye-bye.